Well, good morning. Morning. It's travel day. It's finally here. Uh, yeah. Again. It's Saturday, the 29th of January. And we're going to Disney. That's weird, isn't it? That is just mad, madness. Crazy. I can't actually believe. We literally stood, as you just saw, looking out at the runway of Heathrow. The view, crazy. I can't get over how we've never stayed anywhere we've had a view like this. An American Airlines flight has just landed. Do you want to see? Like That is our view. But last night they were actually taken off this way. Yeah, so you could see them you taking off. But you could see their lights, it was dark, so. Mm -hmm. But there's some virgin planes over there. Yeah, I can see a, a group of them. One, two, three, four, five, maybe? Maybe more. There's a fair few um, that we're going to be flying on soon. Um, so, yeah, great pre travel day if you watch that vlog. Um, if not, I'll put a little link in the description so that you can watch it. I think the best thing was the cocktail. The cocktail. The, yeah, the runway bar. They were good. There's Jet. Um, yeah, the runway bar was amazing. Like, to have that and you could actually go outside and, and look out. In the summer, I can imagine that being amazing because there were table chairs you could sit out there. But it, I bet it's busy. But it was still cool to, to see. Mm. So if you are flying from Heathrow... I would highly recommend the Hilton Garden Inn. Um, great views, great bar, um, and a really nice room, comfy bed. And nice food as well. Food was great, yeah. Can't, can't fault it. Really top tip, stay here. Um, so the plan. So we're gonna be heading over now to Terminal 3. Um, we had a little walk over last night just to make sure we knew where we were going. Um, it's about five minutes, isn't it? About five, 10 minutes. It was quite an easy walk, really. Yeah now that we know where we're going um, and then get all checked in get through security fingers crossed that's quick um, and then go for some breakfast in the number one lounge so our flight isn't until 12, 12 midday so we've got a couple of hours um, check-in opens at nine although usually you can check in before then because there's quite a few Virgin Atlantic flights going out this morning but I can't wait it's going to be amazing. Although it's going to be cold. It's going to be cold tonight. So there's a bit of a cold front in the US, which means today, tomorrow, and a little bit into Monday, the temperatures have dropped. So I think... And when I say dropped, I mean <laughs> minus three. Yeah. So throughout the kind of early hours of Sunday morning, it's got a drop to like minus three. Um, and then I think like when we kind of be going out to the parks on Sunday morning, like tomorrow morning, it's going to be about two, three degrees. It's cold. So, like being at home. Um, Apparently this is the coldest they've had in four years. In four years, which is typical. It's when we're going and it's going to be freezing. Um, but then for the rest of the week, it's got to be back to normal Florida weather for this time of year. So, 26, 27 degrees. A little bit cooler on the night, but still amazing. Um, I just can't wait to get there. Um, as we said yesterday, we're staying at the Disney All-Star Music, which is a first for us. We've normally stayed at the sports. Um, so yeah, just excited to go away and get a, get back to Florida because oh, yeah, I just can't wait to get to America. Yeah, I think that just will then maybe feel like things are getting back to normal a little bit. So let's get to the airport. Let's check in. Just as the Virgin Atlantic's pulling in, let's get going. Yeah. We've made it. We're in now at Terminal, Terminal 3. Delta. That felt like a longer track. Yeah, that felt yeah, like this because you're carrying suitcases. This is true. But it's okay. We, we, we're here, so. <sighs> it's all becoming real. I think we just need to check in, dump the cases, and then I'll feel a lot more relaxed. Yeah. So, let's go check in. Let's do this. Dead. This I is dead. Fly ready. This is the fly ready check in desk. So it literally. No one here? 
However, all the normal check-in desks are rammed, you're queuing. So, top tip, upload your documents beforehand, do the fridge and fly ready, 100%. So we're done, we've just come outside for some fresh air before we go through security. Absolutely crazy, that. But that literally took less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Um, we were chatting to the, the, the lady checking us in and <laughs> She was like, no, people just don't no, no, like do it. They don't. They get a little bit nervous. They don't do the fly ready. Um, I think they think it's to do with like vaccinations and COVID and all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I just dropped my passport. <laughs> don't know how. It's in my back pocket. Um. Yeah. So a lot of people just think, oh, it's to do with vaccinations and all that sort of thing. And she was trying to explain, it's just Virgin's online system that just allows them to kind of verify all your documentation before you're checking in. So I seriously cannot say enough. Do the fly ready if you're checking in. It just makes things so much quicker. So, so we just had a little little walk around just to get a little bit of fresh air before we go through because we know that it's going to be masks on now for quite a while. Because um, you do still have to wear masks in the airport and on the flight which is fair enough. Um, but, that was our hotel. That's weird. So we, our room was kind of, kind of uh, like floor. there, looking out that way. And then that at the top is, the is the bar. That was where we were. Crazy. It's crazy. Can you hear so, the planes going off? That Where's the link bridge? Oh, what, to Terminal 2? Yeah, we must have cut through this car park. No. No, you come, kind of come out over this way, and you... You, you, you basically, you're underneath all of this. Yeah, so basically, so the link bridge the from the hotel into Terminal 2, is comes it, it comes out the other way. So Terminal 2 is the other side of the Hilton Garden Inn. Yeah, so, so you cut underneath all So then you cut all the way underneath here and then come out outside Terminal 3. I'm just so relieved now. I, whenever I go away, the worst bit is up to the point of checking and getting your cases off. Once you've got your cases, that's it then. I'm relaxed yeah. in, until we, we're running around to try and find the gate to board. So there we go. I say we get through security and then might see you again in duty three. So security done. We are now walking into duty three. Um, security took like two seconds, which I just... I'm in shock at the moment. Everything's just running so smoothly and we don't want yeah, to tempt fate. I'm not used to this. But that was a breeze. Hotel, amazing. Food, amazing. View, amazing. Drink, amazing. Night sleep. Mm. That could be like that anywhere though. It, uh, yeah. it was a comfy bed, I just don't see very good. That's just been the breeze. Check in. Easy. Like, easy. Security. Back, security. In and easy. out. Easy. Like literally, I'm everything's happy. taken like less than like ten minutes, less than ten minutes, or like five minutes. I'm I'm a very happy chappy, but I'm not tempting fate because something could go wrong. But so yes. far, well done, Virgin. Well done, Heathrow. I'm loving your work. Men's fragrance. Having a sniff. Uh, no, no. We, we do already know that. It tends to be cheaper online than what yeah, you pay for it. Know, but, still, but I always find this is a good way to s smell things that you like. Do you know what I mean? She know. That's a cool girl. Toy Boy. Oh, that was um. No, is it Toy Boy? Yeah, it's Toy Boy. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> no. So you sprayed that on you now, and you've got that. You should spray it on the samples. You should spray it on the knees. Because yeah. if you don't like it, you spray it on yourself. You're stuck with it. Joe's looking at the ray bands. Oh, has Joe found a Perry Lights? Let's have a look. Elton John. <laughs> Harrods, Cafe Nero. Case Paul Smith. 
Louis Vuitton, if you were wondering. Plenty to do. Number one lounge. Number one lounge. Get some food. Yes. Let's do it. So the gate's been called. We are making our way now. Um, we didn't film anything in the number one lounge, but we'll explain why later. So you need to make sure you stay tuned. Um, but hopefully it won't be too much longer now and we will start boarding the flight. Joe, look. He's happy. Um, although we did have something to eat in the number one lounge, but um, yeah. It wasn't the best, but stay tuned. Joe was disappointed, definitely. Right, gate 24, we need to find our way now. It's not our flight, but it is a American Airlines flight. That's cool. That is so cool. Right, let's go. Apparently it's about a 10 minute walk. I can uh, do that. Gate number 23 just there. Oh, okay. Oh, well, maybe we haven't got that far of a walk then. Even better. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. You've got gate 23, then gate 25. Maybe they ran out of signs for 24, so. Hmm. Interesting. So there we are. Orlando. Boarding. And we found. Gate 24. So, gate 24. Here we are. Oh, so exciting! I think we got to get a buff for the plane. Are you serious? I think so. That's new, if that is the case. But I think... I think we are. It is a bus to the plane. There we go, I think we're getting a bus to the plane. And then we'll walk up steps. Oh, it was like doing easy jet again. <laughs> That's cool. So we are getting on a bus. Not that one, but another one. And then it's gonna take us to the plane. I've no idea where the plane is. There's a BA one there. Yeah, wow. Champagne Bell. This is crazy. Climbing the steps. The big engine. Yeah, Champagne Bell. Oh, it's a bit breezy. Windy. Look at the wheels. That is madness. Oh wow. Wow. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting that. See uh, the Virgin sign on the tip of the tail. That's Golden Girl over there. Amazing.
made in 20 minutes and we were through so let's so get 20 minutes to get off the plane and get through customs 20 minutes crazy can't complain no. just need to get the monorail now we're back at disney we've made it we're here we're here. Yeah. We, we, sorry, we've just been distracted because there's, there's a lady, a lady with, with a big dog. dog. I'm like, That's so cute. But we're here. We made it. We're Good back. MCO International. The MCO, back in Orlando. Like, we've never been away. And I have spotted the Epcot ball with the new Walt Disney thing. Which, the last time we were here, it was Star Wars. Yeah. Are we going in the 
you really do have on the way no, out? No, we do the, the store on the way out because that's the de depressing bit. It's like the absolute bit of Disney, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, we'll have a little walk over to the Disney Wall. But, how was, we were talking earlier, how was security? Amazing. Like 15 minutes to get off the, well, 20 minutes to get off the plane, get the bag, uh, get go through customs, pick up the bags, get the shuttle over. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. When normally it's two hours. I mean, an hour, like I have, hour. yeah, I've never known it like that. I mean, we walked through and you know when you expect to see the lines, there was just one line and it, we were like, what? Um, and yeah, everything so far has just been amazing. It's been so relaxed, easy, you know, all the COVID protocols, it hasn't changed anything. It's just, yeah, it's amazing. But here we are. Look. Oh, look at that. Joe's gonna get some photographs. I'll leave the photography to Joe. But, oh wow. That's amazing. You know what? When they said they were changing this from the old wall, um, I'll insert a picture here if you remember what the old wall used to look like. But this, this is amazing. I cannot wait to see the Epcot ball. That is just amazing. Favorite, one of our favorite rides anyway. We've made it. We're in the room. We're in the room. We have literally just walked in the door. Yeah. And we just, we're in a bit of a rush tonight because we do want to get out to the parks. Um, so we thought, right, we'll quickly say hello, let you know we've all got here. Um, we managed to find the room all right. Yeah, room time. We didn't need to go to reception because we did the whole uh, room key on your phone sort of thing through the My Experience app, yeah. which is pretty simple. But yeah, you just got to kind of have an idea of where you're going. Um, but we are in the new designed rooms for the All Stars. Um, so here's a little sneak peek of what the room looks like. Ta-da! How amazing is that? It's cool. So it's TV very different. Huge. So obviously, it's exactly the same layout as the All Star Sports, um, but obviously it's been completely redecorated and 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 done out. So it's a little taster. Um, but I'm not going to do a room tour yet. And um, when we get back later, I will do a room tour. So that just means you have to carry on watching because at the end of the vlog, there will be a room tour of this newly refurbished Disney All Star Music Room. So excited! So we are ready to go. Yeah. Coats on because it is fresh. It's like yeah. being back at home. Um, but we've decided we are heading to our favourite park. Epcot. Epcot. And we're hopefully going to catch harmonious yeah so we need to get to the kind of reception area we're going to catch the disney bus over to epcot and then make it over to harmonious 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 can you tell it's getting late and the jet lag is kicking in um so yeah so we're in the calypso <laughs> It's the pool. Anybody get in the pool right now? I don't know if uh, people actually would. <laughs> would you? Like, actually see a breath. Yeah, it is. It's the Calypso. We will have a proper walk around the hotel, but we are um, up against it. So we need to get to the bus to get to Epcot. So we've made it to Epcot. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. This is crazy. So we just need to scan. <laughs> Get in there. 
Look at it. Ah. because it's absolutely freezing, even for us Brits. But it is a little bit warmer now. But it is busy. It's In the car is busy. busy. I think a lot of people are doing the same thing though. Yeah, that's it, but... Oh wow, Cinderella. How much is that? I'm gonna go 180. Not that like expensive. No? 130. 130. 129 right now. Okay. That's what I need right now. <laughs> oh my god, that feels so soft. That feels so nice. I don't know what it's like on the inside. It's like, um... Fleece. Fleecy, yeah. <laughs> I need that now. Oh, cool. So our plan is, we thought, have a little walk around here, warm up, have a proper look at the ball, mm -hmm. and then head back to the hotel and grab something to eat, because we are starving. I am rather hungry. Get Disney pizza night. Joe wants Disney pizza. Joe, we've not had Disney pizza for a while, so he wants it. Oh, He's entitled to it, even though he had pizza last night. Don't care, I'm entitled to it. I do love what they've done with it. So where's the thingy the other side of that? Yeah. Club Cool. Club Cool is that way. No, it's there. Up in this. There's the lights. Yeah, but you come out and go in that way. Yeah, you go, so Club Cool is literally behind all this. Yeah. Because it's still in the building, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's part of the creation store building. But well, obviously it's cornered it. off. Funky popcorn. That's a popcorn. That looks quite nice. That's a giant bar of chocolate. Would you pay twenty-five dollars though for a bar of chocolate? Yes. It's got poppy popping candy in, but yeah, that's what makes it twenty-five dollars. You could buy a massive Easter egg in Tesco for a tenner. I know. It just looks so much better. It's just so much brighter. Yeah. And you get the different tone colours, I think. Like, that is just, I don't know, it, it, seeing it here is completely different to watching it on camera. Yeah. Like, on a vlog. Yeah. It's just amazing. I think... I got around and said it. Are they, is there, are they right off the top as well? Yeah, all the way around. How did they get up there and do it? And they climbed on a ladder. That is just... Look at that. Mono. Monolith. Monolith. Yep, got monolith. 
It's amazing. What the very, very original used to be like. Yeah, it's mad. It's the ball behind. Look at it. That is amazing. This just can't stop staring at it. I know. It's like... It's just unreal. Like... Is it going to do the thing? Or is it not doing it? I'm not sure. There's so many different things that it does. I mean, it's a warmer night. <laughs> That's when you can... Stand around here. Yeah. Oh. This is it. I don't think so. So, we've got here, we've watched Harmonious, we saw the Epcot Ball with all the 50th lights, oh my god it's just amazing. So pretty. But now it's time to eat, so we are going to jump back on the bus, on the bus, get back to the hotel, get some food, and then we need to do a room tour. Yeah. We've not done that yet, so let's go and do that now, come with. And back in the room. Oh, so that was quite easy again. We've had a really simple, easy day. Got to the bus stop and the bus were pretty much waiting. Um, and we then stopped for food. What did we get? Pizza. Oh. I can't wait to smash this in. <laughs> Joe's hungry. I'm um, very hungry. Um, yeah, so we're going to eat. Room tour. And then we're going to call it a night. Then I've got to unpack. We have got to unpack. And then call it a night. So let's enjoy pizza and then we'll have a tour. So we've eaten, filled a hole that was needed. Yep. But it is now time for the Disney All-Star Music Room Tour. So, the room is the same as the normal All-Stars room. However, the decor, completely refurbed. So, let's start in the kind of main living bedroom area, shall we? So, as you come in, so, you come in, you now have, where, where Joe is modelling, um, this lovely table yep. and chair where we just sat this with pizza, handy, yeah. which is quite handy, yeah, it's quite nice to have somewhere to, to sit. The other table used to be over here. Used to be right here. Yeah. yeah. But you used to have a bit box for TV. No, not if you were sat here, you couldn't see a TV. So you have this cabinet here. So you've got some shelving, you've got your tea, coffee. You've got drawer space. Nice, good size, deep drawers. Fridge, which we currently have. Um, a bottle of Pepsi, a can of red wine from the plane. Some Whisper dairy milk and wine gums. Hmm, healthy. Um, lovely light. That's funky. Um, but yeah, so we've got nice funky chairs. And these have... Well, I'm just looking at this because... Well, <clears throat> should these be for sports? Uh, no, it's all of them. So you've got... You've got sports, you've got movies... And you've got music. That's quite cool. You got a little bedside table, um, telephone, quite a small telephone, and then you have your bed. This is enough. So you can see it's quite a a large bed. Nice bit of artwork above, and these are lights on either side. That's cool. Um, more storage, so more drawer space. 
you then have, if I can open the drawer, a drawer here that has your safe, the Holy Bible. Again, more drawer space. Joe's not put his cases away yet. They just look a bit cluttered on the side. Apologies. TV, a bit of Frozen. And this is a massive TV. I think this is like a 55 inch TV. So it's a lot bigger than the TV that we used to have. Yeah. Um, and we can't show you right now because obviously the, we've been eating, so it's there. But this is a pull down bed. So I will show you that in a minute. Maybe Joe will move the stuff off the table if I, while I go and show you the bathroom. Bathroom. Hello, mirror. So this is all cool. Nice new mirror. Massive. You got some more storage. Some shelving. Hair dryer. Iron. Tissues. Ironing board. Hangers. More shelving for storage. More storage here. Um, nice sink. Funky little taps. Running water. Again, always a good sign. You got your towels. Nice. More tissues. So again, loads and loads of storage. Joe's making a racket. Here's a little lamp. Look at that. Hello. That's quite cool. And then we have the renovated bathroom. So these are slidey doors with another full standing mirror. Look at that. That's cool. And then inside, this is your bathroom. So this is cool. This is, this is different to what you've had before because you used to just have like the curtain, the Disney curtain. Um, nice tile in, a little recess for you to put your, you know, your shampoo, your conditioner. You obviously got the Disney H2O products. It's a bit of like a rainfall shower. Um, for little ones that could maybe be a bath. Obviously bath, toilet, towels, more towels. Not the softest, but hey. But no. That's really, really nice. And as if by magic, we are ready to display the pull down bed. Is that like all up there before? Yeah. Hmm. So yeah. So you pull it down and it just goes down. They've not made it though. No. Keep going, keep going. And you now have another full size bed. Which, what I love, is the artwork at the back. I'll get a bit closer so you can see it. It is cute. That is so cool. Huey, Dewey and Louie. Oh, Look at them. Um... It just hasn't got a duvet on it. This is more like the summer one. It's cool, but yeah. So, you know, and I mean, in case you didn't notice, there are eight pillows here. Obviously not gonna use them all, but you could then take four of them and put them over here. Um, but even with the bed down, there's still plenty of room. This it's, is like normal though. This is, this is normal, yeah, because yeah. you would normally have the kind of the two beds. Like but it's, it's cool, I like it. It's really nice room. It's hard flooring now. This used to be carpeted. So, um, we brought, well, I brought slippers. I brought my flip-flops. So has got flip-flops because I'm thinking on a morning, if it's cool, then that floor might be a bit too cold on the feet. So yeah, yeah. but great room, can't complain. Um, love what they've done with it. And I think all the all stars are, are getting this makeover. So movies definitely is obviously music now, and I'm guessing sports will be done once it's, once it's open. Yeah. Oh, Joe's uh, putting it back. It's clever how all this goes, and it just folds. Just folds. But it does feel cool. nice and sturdy. Sturdy. And it is nice having this kind of large seating area, whether you're just sat down doing stuff, or, you know, eating pizza. Eating, eating pizza. Um, so there you have it. That's the room.
Yeah. So. Show you a view every morning. Yeah, we'll show you outside. We, we're kind of looking out over to also our movies. That's the kind of direction that we're in. Um, but no, that's travel day then, pretty much. Done. It's been a long day. Um, flying here, absolute breeze. Just long. It's been a long day, but it's been a, a good day. Um, the whole COVID testing and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Been a breeze, absolute breeze. Customs, um, delight. We mentioned it earlier. If you're coming to Florida or you're flying anywhere with Virgin, then use the Virgin Fly Ready to upload your vaccination documents and your COVID testing documents because literally it's just going to save you so much time at the airport. Yeah, um, yeah I, I can't fault that whole process. I've, I've loved it. Yeah. Um, I think they've been very, very like stress like lucky how, yeah. how stress free to and actually them. I've just thought the only thing I would we have got a complaint about we mentioned we would tell you earlier and we, I've just remembered oh uh, yeah that. so number one lounge mm -hmm. so we didn't film anything in the number one lounge because it was horrendous horrendous it was jam packed there was nowhere to sit nowhere to sit um, we, I mean, we did manage to find somewhere in like the cinema area, so we had to be quiet, hence why we couldn't really get the camera out and start talking. Um, so we, it was very, very dark because it was all curtained off. Yeah, right. we managed to have something to eat, but basically, they let far too many people in. So, if if you're There's limited no on space, there. do you need the, to limit the number of people you allow in? As you go in, there is a bar area just to the left, and you. you could barely even walk through yeah. where there's, there's the amount of people but yeah no, nowhere to sit no it was just so i know. would not recommend the number one lounge i would say there's plenty of places in the main departures area to go for food yeah i, I wouldn't necessarily do a lounge there was um, a cool it was really pink and it looked quite cool it was all like pink i can't remember what it's called i can't remember what it's called what it's called i'll Put it in the description. I'll I'll look it up in the description. Cool. But yeah, that looked like a really nice, cool, funky place to get to go to eat. Um, but yeah, so that's why. So if you're looking to book a lounge, don't book number one lounge. In our opinion, in my opinion, no. I just wouldn't waste my money the on toilets it again. as well. You were there was a queue. Ridiculous. Toilet, about six or seven people just queuing to go in the toilets. Yeah. So I'd say it's a no for that. But besides the lounge, everything today has been spot on yeah perfect. um so we hope you've enjoyed watching our travel day yeah. to disney world after two and a bit years um tomorrow or next week for you for when you watch the next vlog um we're heading over to magic kingdom as you do day, you know, day one day one you, you have to go to magic one. kingdom um so it's going to be an early start so if you want to see that you need to make sure you subscribed and if you've enjoyed this video then give it the thumbs up um but pretty much that's travel day welcome back to walt disney world we're here we're thanks for watching it's adios for me cheerio bye, bye.